Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to the drowned city of Scala. We're here to find a lost treasure, a bit like Alzadal's legacy. But anyway, please like and subscribe. I'm releasing guides for every story dungeon and trial in the game, so you always know what's coming. Let's get started. Nothing special about the trash here. The first boss is Kelpie, who's like a mix between a horse and a seahorse, if that makes sense. He does a heavy hit on the tank called Torpedo. Just mitigate and heal through it. He also does a group-wide hit called Rising Seas that you can't avoid, so just heal through it. Early in the fight, the perimeter will glow, and for the remainder of the encounter, it will deal damage and debuffs to anyone who stands in it. Two of his signature moves are Hydro Pull and Hydro Push. With Hydro Pull, he will move to one edge, and then when the cast goes off, everyone will be yanked toward him. Just run away from him as far as you can during the cast, so that when you are pulled, you aren't pulled into the perimeter. Hydro Push works the same way, except it pushes, so you want to run toward him while it's casting. Bloody Puddle is a multi-part mechanic that begins where two to three players have large circular markers. They should run to the edges and far from each other to avoid overlapping damage. Once it strikes, it will leave some puddles behind that deal damage and debuffs to anyone who stands in them. Then bubbles will spawn and tether to the same players. They will slowly follow them for a time and then explode for some AoE damage. Tethered players should try to kite the bubbles out of the way if possible. The second boss is the Old One. He typically opens with Mystic Light, which is a large conal AoE that targets a random player. Just step out of the marker to avoid getting hit. Mystic Flame is one that puts two to three large AoE circles on the floor. Again, just step aside to avoid damage as they are blasted with fire. Order to Detonate is a long cast where four adds will spawn and slowly circle the boss. All players need to burn them down fast before the cast goes off. Later in the fight, there will be six of these adds. Shifting Light is a spell that turns all players into Spriggans, and you will have the ability to drop bombs from your cast bar. This is always followed by another Order to Detonate, so all players will have to kill the adds using these new bombs. The final boss here is Roderick Poison Tongue. All of his abilities, except for one, have no cast bar, so you will have to watch out for other cues. Let's go over these. If you see a message that says he's raising his claws, this means you should get away from his front or you'll get smacked. If it says he's raising his tail, you'll want to get away from his backside for the same reason. Next there's the one where he crouches and there is a proximity marker. Just run to the edge to reduce the damage. Now for his three chaos abilities that afflict players. None of these have cast bars, but they all have huge markers. Ring of Chaos surrounds one player with a massive ring that will hurt other players when it goes off. What you should do here is situational. Usually running to the edge is fine, but in some cases that will hurt everyone. The worst thing is to keep changing your mind. Basically, it's on you to move where you will hit the least amount of players and then stay put so they can adjust. I'd apply the same logic for Cross of Chaos. This one puts a giant cross marker on one player that tracks them as they move. Again, move to somewhere that's easy for other players to avoid, then sit still so they can adjust their positions. Circle of Chaos is easier to deal with. This just puts a circular marker on one to two players, and they should move away from others to avoid overlapping damage. The boss also has an ability called Words of Woe, where there is no cast, but the cue is that he suddenly faces a random player. Just move away from his gaze to avoid being blasted in the face with line AoE damage. Okay, that's everything that has no cast bar. Finally, there is Eye of the Fire, which you will actually see a cast for, where a red eye marker appears and a message that says, Death comes for you. Simply look away from it until it goes off, or else you will be struck with confusion. Of course, as the fight progresses, like all fights, you will see multiple abilities at the same time. Have fun with that. And that's it for the Drowned City of Scala. Have fun, good luck, and see you next time.